Today we're creating a killer template so we can go from zero to $5,000 a month in passive income. If this is the first video you watch, go back to the previous ones because this is a series where I'm trying to go from zero to 5K in passive income all on camera. Last video, we did content strategy. We came up with a really awesome strategy in order to create content that's gonna rank well, that's gonna really satisfy what people are looking for and ultimately drive conversions. In this video, I'm gonna take that content strategy and turn it into a template. And after seeing the templates that the competitors are doing, I think that we can blow them out of the water. All right, let's jump in on a blank template and end with something amazing. So my first step, I kind of jumped the gun, but I took all the stuff from the previous video of the content strategy, and I outlined all the fields that we need to create in the content management system. So I'm gonna be using Webflow for this. I know a lot of you guys watch the channel for Duda. I love Duda for certain scenarios, but Webflow is amazing for more advanced content management needs and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about and I think it'll make sense once we start building. But essentially, I need a content management system where you can relate data to each other, but I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here in a second. I have a pretty good idea about how I wanna organize this template, but let's ask ChatGPT what its opinion is. Well, it's taking forever to generate, but number two is what I was thinking where I wanna have three stacked images where you can scroll, people love scrolling, and then have the block of text stay fixed to the right side but uh, we'll see what else it says, but I think that's the one we're gonna go with. All right, so let's dive into the content management system. So I'm choosing Webflow again because it has the ability to create like really dynamic uh, collections. And I sorted this out on this piece of uh, this document right here. So basically what we're doing is we need to create a post that kind of looks like this. This is the competitors where we're featuring a bunch of website templates and then we're gonna link to them so people can go sign up uh, for that platform, use the template. But what all of these people are not doing is actually putting these into like a template. These are just like a blog post. So they're just probably going in here, they're adding like an image, they're adding a title. And I can tell that by this, there, there's no like consistency across it. This is just like, they're literally just going into a body field and entering all the information. And that kind of sucks because it doesn't give you the advantage of being able to style stuff out with ease. Sure, you can still use CSS, but like if I wanna do very consistent stuff with each section, by putting it into a template, I'm able to create consistency across it and then also make it more dynamic or design it out better. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like in the CMS. So. We're gonna create a couple of collections and we're gonna like reference them and bring them together. The first collection I wanna create is the actual template collection. So in the beginning, we're gonna create a collection and then we're gonna add each record is going to be a template. And that way I'll be able to reuse the templates across all of these different blog posts because there's probably like 15 to 30 different ones that I'm gonna use in all of the blog posts. And there's no point in re-uploading the images for the template, re-uploading the links for each template. So I need like a reusable component I can bring into each of the posts. If it doesn't make sense, don't worry. I think it will once it's all in the UI. All right, we're back and I just modeled out all the data. I think I've come up with something really good and I'm just gonna like quickly share with you some of the awesome stuff that we've been able to put into the system. So visually, I think this will make a lot more sense. So the goal is to create a post that's like this. And so we broke it down into different fields. We've got an introduction, and then each one of these is a separate record. So I'll show you what that looks like. We have the templates collection. So when I go and create a new template, I'm gonna enter the name of it, the price, the link to the template, the several images. And then this got a little bit tricky, but I need a unique body for every single template, but for every single post we do. So even though we're gonna be talking about this template for photography websites and potentially wedding websites, I wanna have a different body for it so that way we're able to write unique text that kind of backs up why we're using this template for photography or for weddings. And so this is a little bit tricky because I guess Webflow has a limit of either 30 or 60 fields depending on what plan you're on. And so we're gonna to have to keep creating body fields for every article we do. 30 to 60 I think will be all right in the, the next like I don't know, a year or so. So if it becomes a problem in the future, I'll have to move it. But so after all these are filled out and I just use Webflow has like a, uh, fill it out with like dummy information. So I did that. So these are filled out, we've got some records. Then I created a separate collection called template lists. And in here we have that, uh, the name, the title of the post, the slug. We've got the intro and outro. So that's gonna be this intro here. And then the outro is gonna be the last piece of text. And then here's where we say, okay, here are the different templates I wanna bring in. 
And so we select all the different ones and then those are gonna display like these, although we're gonna make them look a lot better. And the advantage of doing this is once I start designing it out, I'm gonna be able to have like very good control over the design of each of those templates. I only need to design a template out once and for each additional one we bring in, it's gonna to adhere to that design. So after that, uh, I didn't cover this in the last video, but after I got off that call, I thought it would be great to bring in some example websites. So not only can you look at the templates, you're able to look at some of the best Squarespace photography websites. And lucky for me, I've already done those in different posts. So these are just gonna bring those in. We're gonna say, okay, give me the category, you know, photography, the platform, Squarespace. And then this will be a link to that post to just create like really good content that interlinks to each other. So that's how the data is modeled out. And now it's time to jump into the design editor, start with the blank template, and then actually make all of this look really good. I'm not gonna record the whole thing. I might jump in here and there and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so I realized I messed something up when I was creating the collections. That whole thing I was talking about with like the bodies, it's not gonna work because I'm looking at one template right here. We got the template title image and then the body of it. I was hoping that I can like use a different body for each uh, article, but I have to use like one of the fields connected to this. So body square space photography. And that way when I go create like the wedding one, it won't work. So I'm gonna have to redo that part and I don't like my options available. I think the only thing I can do is go into the template list collection and add basically however many templates I'm gonna have, so like 15, and say like template body one, template body two, all the way through 15. That's not ideal at all, because it's, it's really easy for things to get mixed up. If I change out the template, then I have to make sure I go over here and change out the body. This is actually like one of the limitations of Webflow and you know, something like Drupal would be able to handle something like this, but it's a lot more custom and I'm not gonna move my site over to there. So I think this is my only solution. I'm gonna do this and if I figure out something later, uh, maybe I'll do some research, I'll, I'll change it over. All right, so the template's coming along. I've got like a pretty solid intro. I added some fields, I'll go over it later. We got the intro. And then this is gonna be like each template, but I'm running into a problem right now where essentially I have these three tall images on the left and the text on the right. And if you scroll to look at the images, you're gonna lose the text. So I wanted to, this is initially what I was thinking was to make this sticky. But if I do, I could offset this a little bit, uh, then, the text doesn't scroll until you get to the bottom and then it starts to scroll. So it makes it like confusing that way too. So I'm trying to figure out how to design this section out. I'm thinking right now I'll make it wider and then have some sort of like content constraint. So when we write it, we'll be constrained to like a certain amount of content. I don't love that, but I also don't like this right now. So just a problem I run into, we'll see how I solve it uh, once I turn the camera back on. All right, it's the next morning, got a smoothie made, ready to go. I have a sick template to show you. Um, last night I finished the video and then I just kept working on the template because I wasn't satisfied with it. So we're gonna go over that. I think the last time I was talking with you, I was trying to figure out like the best way to do this like content management system. I thought I had something going last time, I changed it again. So I'm gonna run you through that real quick and then we'll look at the template. I'm really stoked on the way it came out. So. Uh, the backend system, basically we have like a post that this is where everything kind of comes together. We've got the title of it, we've got the intro, we've got the outro. I've got a bunch of random fields here, like a summary, um, some stuff to pull in like websites. I'll, I'll cover that in a moment. And the template gets pulled in right here. So we say templates, which ones do we want to show in this post? And so the goal here is to be able to reuse templates across all the posts because we're gonna have dozens of these and I don't wanna have to like re-upload the templates every time I have to post them. It's just like a lot of work to take the, the screenshots and um, you know the titles of them or whatever. You just don't wanna repeat yourself. That's kind of like the goal is do not repeat yourself. And so the way this works is that was pulling in uh, these guys here. So this collection lets me create a custom body for each template and then this 
pulls in a different collection that basically has all the information about the template. So we've got the price, the link to it, the screenshots. So this is the stuff that's gonna get reused and every time I wanna customize the body, I create what I'm calling a dynamic info template where I pull in the initial base template, give it a custom body, and then this gets pulled into the main post. Uh, it's a little bit confusing, but this way it lets me reuse components while also customizing the body. All right, let's take a look at it. I'm really stoked on it. So here we go. We got a nice little intro here. The picture, this is all just like dummy info, by the way. I just grabbed something from my downloads. We've got the affiliate disclosure. You gotta stay compliant with FTC guidelines. Plus it's just the right thing to do. We're gonna have like a really short intro and then I wanna jump right into the templates. That's, what's pe that's what people are looking for. So I wanna get like right into it. And here we go. So here are all the templates. We've got a nice like three pictures on the left. I don't know the content that's gonna go here, but I wanna keep it like bullet points with like emojis. Um, this is just something from like a different content I pulled from. We've got a nice button here to view the demo. They click this, they go sign up for the platform, and then we potentially get paid for that transaction. And so I only have two of them in here right now, but I'm really glad how this came together. I think it looks really clean. Before I had like different widths and it just didn't like look good. Now this is all pretty clean. They're all broken up very nicely. And I might get rid of this background. We'll see like how I have this purple one. I'll have to see how the actual pictures look on it, but I think it looks cool right now. And then I dive right into some example websites. And so this is gonna be like, I think really great to make the content complete and just give people something else to look at. But I don't wanna get too far into this because then it can kind of confuse people and search engines on what the post is about. Is it about templates or is it about examples? And so I link to my post where I cover the examples in depth here. I do wanna make this link a little bit better, but um, yeah, then we just go right to the outro. So that's gonna be, I think, the best template for this content on the internet. I've looked at a decent amount of them and I think this is just gonna be the, the best. We've got three images, we've got like, um, you know, features about the template and I think the way that we've got the, like the floating right sidebar, the sticky right sidebar. We've got the sticky header. This is gonna drive a lot of conversions, plus a bunch of like supportive information. This is solid. I think we've got something really good. All right, the template is amazing. I think it can generate 5K a month, but we're really now getting down to the wire of, well, how well will the content perform? We've got a great content strategy. We've got a great template. In the next video coming out, May 7th, 2023, we are gonna hear from the content writer. We are gonna to put together a piece of content and get it posted on the website. And then after that, we'll see how it ranks. We'll see you there.